Hey guys, welcome back to your bass YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how you can mix your bass line to your song, okay? So if you're interested and you want to know how to do this, please kindly watch the video to the end. I'll be teaching you how you can also add effects to your bass line to boost or to make your bass line sound so cool, okay? So let's jump right into the FL Studio. Okay, so this is my FL Studio. What we need to see first, what we need to check first is to see if our sound card is working. Okay, so you go to your option here, you click on option audio settings. As you can see, I'll click here so that I'll make sure that my sound card is working in the mixer. Then I exist second go to the mixer okay okay so now this is your mixer and you need to connect your bass guitar click on insert one okay click on insert one and select your device okay so i have already selected my device okay as you can see in the screen it is working but bear with me you can hear it until i start recording okay so you just watch how to do it so now you go to your playlist you click on this and this is your playlist this is where you'll be recording your song okay and we have many track so first you need to decide where to record your bass line for the audio you won't record you just put the audio into the playlist but the bass line that is the bass guitar is the only thing you'll be recording okay so track one is where i will be recording my bass guitar and track two is where i will put my audio okay but first we need to connect this playlist to the mixer yeah so that it will show there okay it will show there so that when you record it will show there okay so let me go to my playlist the track one is where you record your bass guitar so right click on track one then go to track mode audio track then go to click insert one okay it will direct you to your mixer okay so now it's now on your mixer okay i'll make sure you hear it when we start recording you see this button here click on this button here okay and this button will change a color to a recording mode okay so that in case when you're recording it will record through the mixer okay then now go back to your playlist so number two is where you put the song so right click do the same process then click insert two okay so insert two when you play the song it you see that the mixer has shown an insert two so when you put in the song you can low the volume, you can hide the volume, and you can even add in some effects, okay? Same to insert one. So now, let's add a song, okay? The easy way I add my song is, I'll just minimize this to make it smaller, okay? You see, you see, you can see the desktop here. So this is one of my song lessons I teach on YouTube. So I'll just drag it to insert two. You see, then now you now make your effort studio big again, then you maximize it, okay, or you restore it back, okay. So you can see the song is here, okay. So now let me lower it small, okay, and let me go back to my playlist. So you won't be recording your song. You will be recording only the bass line okay so now we want to start recording don't forget to go here you see we have parts we have song click on song click on record okay so now we want to record and before you want to record you should have a timer a metronome so that it will give you some time pa 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 then you can record okay 
so it's this one where is this okay it's countdown before recording so you click on three two you understand click on it so that it will remind you okay so if you want to start your record click on spacebar or click on play here okay you see one more time jesus now you be your god jesus now you be your god Okay, so now you can see that you have done recording your song. Okay, so you go to your mixer. When you go to your mixer, before you play the song, switch this off. Okay, switch it off, then click play. One more time, Jesus, now you be your God. Jesus, now you be your God. So now you have recorded the bass, but you see the bass line is very, um, let me say, it's very low, okay? So now let me show you how you can boost the bass line. So this mixer here, this is where you'll be doing your mixing, okay? So select on insert one, that is where your bass lines are, select there. Then you see this slot over here, you see this slot over here. So this is where you'll be adding your effects, the slot one, the slot two, okay? So if you want to add an effect or plugins, if you already have some, or if you want to use Studios O, just click and it will give you a bunch of stuff you can use, okay? So we have um, the chorus, fruity chorus, which sometimes I use. Okay. That is how to add effects okay you can replace them by another effect this is one effect i use you, you can see this one bass amp okay it's too loud you can low it okay you can also um, replace it by another effect. This is another bass amp which I normally use. Okay, so this is how you can add effect to your bass line. Okay, so just note that and start adding the effect. Okay, so guys, this is how you can add effect. On this channel here is where you'll be adding your effect and you can click on it so that if you want to do some changes you want to do some changes okay okay guys I think this is it for now just try and start using and learning from this software okay it is very very cool you can use this software to do many stuff make beat and all those kind of stuff okay so 
I'll see you guys in my lessons. Bye for now.